Now, there is some benefit to using something like neat dough, but what exactly is it? So without further ado, <laughs> so without further ado, let's actually take a look at this tool in detail on Kali Linux. Do do do, I'm just gonna open up Kali Linux. That's what I'm doing, boop, there we go. Cool, so let's check this out. This is Nikto. I've just opened it in my Kali Linux terminal here. We've got a lot of options here. So what exactly does it actually do though? We can see here that Nikto is a web server security scanner. So it finds flaws, security misconfiguration files on servers and software, etc., which is really cool. So everything that's on a web application, it finds these vulnerabilities and it displays it on your terminal, which is pretty cool. gonna casually open up my Metasploitable 2 machine. Click. So Metasploitable 2 will run, it's gonna open like that, and then it's gonna not work, and then it's gonna run, as you can see. Boom. So what you wanna do is you wanna type in nikto-h for the host target, and then you just paste in the website or the server which you wanna scan more information about. You can specify the port, or any additional information, but there's other options which you can take a look at. So let's just see if this is gonna find some sort of outdated version of software or vulnerability or whatever this. It says uh, wpconfig.php was found, and by the way, we can also output this file, this whole report file, instead of on our terminal, into a actual text file. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna do dash o to output. we we'll just say report. You can do reports.txt if you like. It's a lot more readable in a way, but you can see it's getting a lot of GET requests. It found a lot of other directories as well, and it says here it's given us a CVE here. So, and you can see here that this reveals potential sensitive information. So, it's already found these vulnerabilities, and that's quite cool. What does that mean? It means Nikto just found these vulnerabilities, it sent a lot of GET requests, a lot of HTTP requests to discover not only files and other hidden directories, but vulnerabilities like directory transversal or any misconfigured version of PHP on the web application or server. So that's pretty interesting. But like I said, I don't recommend this tool because it is quite noisy and it's kind of a little bit outdated. I don't know if this tool has been updated, but it's still used, but I'm just saying that's a lot of requests. So that's pretty cool. Would you use Nectar?